Okay, just prove that it's impossible. Okay. Well, validate your reason. No, the burden of proof is on you. No, no. You stated, no, you stated it's impossible. No, you have it. Okay, I think you failed to provide a burden of proof. According to you, it's impossible. According to you, it's not impossible. According to me, that's the case. Your world, now I want to know, how do you validate things in your world with your reason? Now, now how do you validate your reason? How do you validate it? Through observation. But you have to use your reason when observing things, correct? Like if you observe sure. this side, you say, I'm observing this side. You, you have to employ your reasoning when looking at the side. Sure. Okay, so you justify your reason with your reason. So you're stuck, dude, you're stuck in this hamster wheel and you can't get out. You can't get out. Prove to me that just prove it. So the way that you prove that this is English is because of God. I want to know how you get out of circle, dude. I'm already out of circle. You said it's not impossible. And I'm saying that's the case. God reveals things to me in such a way that that's the case in my world. So the only reason you know English is because God revealed English to you. Yeah, I have a justification and validation for it. It had nothing to do with teaching, cognitive yeah, ability. But you can't account for teaching. Because teaching you have to deal in knowledge. So look, evidence presupposes knowledge. Knowledge presupposes truth, and truth presupposes God. Now I'm talking about the conceptual mechanisms of those things. We can account for that in Christian review. I know you can. It's redundant, circular reason. You, okay, so justifying your reason with your reason isn't redundantly circular. Observation. Okay, when, when you're looking at continued observation, are you employing your reasoning? Sure, I'm not, but okay, not only so you mine, your reasoning. but a collective reason. Okay, when dealing with other... I'll bet I can get a million okay. people to agree that okay. that's a tree. Okay. And okay. I'll bet you the definition of what a tree is, is something that's relatively concrete. Okay, so let me ask you this. When dealing with other people, say a, a group of other people, of, of what they're saying, you have to employ your reasoning when dealing with what they're saying? Sure. Okay, so I'm asking about it, your reason, you failed to do so. Uh, did you say so? So you have to use your reasoning every single time, and you're saying that it's okay to have a logical fallacy of vicious circular reasoning as the foundation of your reasoning. That's bad, dude. You're at a university. All right. So, so do you think we ought to be rational? Do you think sure. we ought to be logical? Sure. But well, you're proving you don't have to be. I disagree. It doesn't matter if you disagree. You haven't proved your case. So, but I'm saying what you have is impossible in your worldview. What I have is, according to your worldview, I have a possible possible avenue to search. So I just proved my case. This is the case in my worldview. God reveals things to us in such a way we can know the My concerning. case is continued observation. Well, let, 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 let me see your inconsistency in your worldview. Are you okay with inconsistencies in your worldview? Not necessarily. But one one inconsistency that we just logged in right now is the fact in. is the fact that you justify your reasoning with your reasoning. And multiple other people's reasoning. And do you disagree? Do you disagree that you don't justify your reasoning with your reasoning? You disagree. Yeah, perhaps I'm lacking the vocabulary because I, because you do this for a living. I don't solely do it for a living. For I care about people. Solely for this one purpose. No, I care about people, dude. It's okay. just rationality. I'm asking you to be rational. Prove I, it's no trick, man. It's, I'm just asking you to be right. rational. Okay. You don't need to go to school to be rational, do you? Sure. But okay. prove God. Well, the proof that God exists that without God, you can't prove anything. And we just we just showed you the case right here. You I, can't prove I anything. I don't think true. you've proven that to me. You've well, it doesn't matter what you think. It matters the what the case is. But you still have to prove it. You've merely proven that it's possible. Well, according that to your worldview. proof. But, but you can't prove I can anything say that to that somebody. I could possibly be a cause. But you can't prove anything to somebody that, that doesn't know anything. So all you're telling me is... We'll never be able to have a conversation. According to, according to your worldview, you could never have a logical conversation. You could you could you could, you could assume my worldview and say, well, okay, truth does exist. The science, the scientific method does exist because sure. I account for that in your worldview. And my, my name is Ed, by the way, Ed. Matt. So according to you, Ed, uh, according to your worldview, truth because because you have a validation, or, or what? According to my worldview, a possible validation. So brother Ed let, or, or Ed, let me step into your worldview. Okay. okay. And now now. Um, I now have validation for truth. Now I can argue against your worldview with your worldview. No, that's not what we're doing right now. I want you to defend your worldview. I want to know where do you get truth without God. Now, let's talk about truth. Okay. Does truth... I, I don't want to put people on the spot because I got right. put on the spot. That's true. Okay? That's true. So I, just tell me if you agree or disagree with me. Okay? So when I first, first approached, I, I was asked, what is truth in your worldview? And that's why I said, well, truth is, I guess, what can be proven or something like that. I gave some kind of an arbitrary answer because I didn't One know. Can argue that nothing. Okay, well, well, let, let me tell you what happened in the end. Uh, he told me, and I actually could totally concur when I studied this out. Uh, truth is corresponds to your truth. Truth corresponds to reality. Do you agree with that? Now, if you don't agree with that, I like your correspondence to your truth. 
But I agree with the correspondence theory of truth. I'm not saying that's the absolute well, case. There's a certain subjectivity that each person's okay. truth is you can't say, to but, but in that case, in that case, you're saying that truth is not absolute, correct? Why not? No, I'm, I'm I have my, for me, is that the sure, case? I have things that I think are true. No, no, I'm, I'm talking about objectivity. True for all people everywhere at all times. No, probably not. Now, is that, again, no, when you deny truth, you have to affirm truth in order to deny it. I mean, absolute truth. Sure. It's probably not true for every single person. So you do believe in absolute truth, correct? I don't know. So is it absolutely true? You guys don't, let's or do let it. Me ask let's this. do it. Is it absolutely true you don't know? Sure. Okay, so you believe in absolute truth. See, it, it, it caves in on itself, dude. And see, you can Again, call that a word game. That's you can call me. that a word game, but it's it, it, but it that's fits. Because the it's shoe fits. No, but I'll bet we can interview seven million people, and I'll bet some of them will say but you, you can't know say it. that if you can't validate truth. You're just making another truth claim that you don't know. That what people have different opinions. No, no, it's truth absolute. That we can start there, when you can make start start making but knowledge for you. I don't think. You Okay, so everything you said, you just undermined. Okay, okay. No. Let, let. Truth is subjective. You and I and her. We can get 15, we can get 5 billion people to agree that's concrete. You can find one insane person who will tell you it's not concrete. Okay. Their truth is different than 5 billion other people. Are they wrong? I think they are. Are they we're wrong? We're not no, arguing no, are they wrong. wrong. We're arguing about truth and what is true and what isn't. And but when them, you're dealing in wrong and right, you're dealing in truth. didn't say wrong and right. But truth. that's dealing in truth. Not necessarily. If something's true, it's right. If something's not true, it's wrong. Morally wrong? Any kind of wrong. No, mathematically wrong, between, morally wrong, but there's a difference conceptually between wrong. Mathematically wrong no. and morally wrong. Well, there, there's a difference, is, but I'm talking about truth. There's no difference in truth. Do I think there's some truth? Sure. Are you not certain get... truths? Objective, absolute truth. Sure, but again. So, I... so you agree? Do I think every single person is going to hold the same things to be true that I do? No, no, no that's, that's all another thing. I'm not saying that. Yeah. What, what I'm saying is, is truth itself, the concept, the mechanism of truth, is it absolute? I don't think so. Every single person might approach it differently. But see, then you make a truth claim that can undermine that, because if you say you don't know, well, you, don't know if, you don't okay, know if what you said is true. But I'm okay with that and then continuing to seek for the truth. Okay, so if truth corresponds to reality, if it does, how do you know what's real? All I have to go off of is that I observe it. But when you go by your observation, you have to employ your reasoning. Sure. So if you can't validate your reasoning, and you had invalid reasoning, Why would, would that not follow that you can't know what truth is? My reasoning is based off my senses and but my you, experience. But you just you said you can't know. No, I can't. You can't know for certain? No. Yeah, so you could be a, a, a person that... Well, let me ask you we this. Might, do, we do you believe, might perceive the color blue completely different. Okay, so do you believe there's people in the world that have invalid reasoning, like people that have gotten car crashes, have the brain faculties messed up in their brain? Sure. Or they yeah. have uh, some drug happening in their brain, yeah. and they lost all yeah. faculties. Or they just are bad at employing logic. Sure. Sure. Right. Well, here's my question to you. How do you know you're not one of those people? I don't. I hope I'm not. You could never know it. I think, that's my point. I think I can apply logic. You're at a university, you can't know, you're, 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 you can have rational No, but that's the whole point behind science. You, you see, you, you, you see, continue it's, to it's, apply that scientific method. But do you see how your worldview is country dictating how you live every day in your life? It's arbitrary? I don't think it is. You have arbitrariness, you have inconsistencies, and a lack of precondition for I don't think I have inconsistencies so, because I'm applying that logic and that reason is it absolutely the same true? way to every problem. Okay, is it absolutely true you don't have any inconsistencies? I'm sure I have inconsistencies. I'm sure every single human being has But you could even be wrong about that. I could, sure. Right, right. so you can't know anything. So you undermine your whole argument. It's inconsistent with how you live every day. But there's... I'm, I'm showing you, your worldview comes opinion, crumbling down and scrutiny of absolute truth. I don't think truth. it comes crumbling down. Is I'm it absolutely I'm true? Okay. It doesn't. But I'm okay with that. It's and absolutely true. You don't... to apply that logic and reasoning to new problems. Okay, could you be wrong about everything you claim to know? Sure, as could you. Okay, now, now wait a minute. You could be wrong about everything you claim to know. It follows you know nothing. That's not true. That follows. No, if that's If I look at that building, like, I say it's 50 foot high, but I could be wrong. That's I don't a straw know. Man, I don't that's know. That's a it. straw man. You could also be right. And you're not basing that off of nothing. You're basing it off of But I don't know your, it. Your knowledge. The argument the isn't if I, I could be right. The argument is I couldn't know it. So you eventually can't, you can't you could know, know anything. But eventually you could know it, right? You just you gave up your epistemology. You take, no, you could take a measuring device for that. Okay, you took a measuring device. That's like After you measure it, could you know it? In that case, yes. Absolutely. Is it absolutely true? 
It's all based on okay, perception. Okay, so, so see, you're, you're being inconsistent now. Again, your worldview is inconsistent. I say. Do you want what well, most people would say? Yes. Most people would say yes. They can know that. They've, they can know. They've that. taken the agreed upon measure of a foot. They've right. utilized the device and they've measured it. Sure. Am so, I going to so, say I know it? No. No. I want to show you. Because I apply science and logic all the time. I know that we used to believe that illness came from ethers and body humors, mm -hmm. and now we think one thing. We may develop a new instrument ten years from now that lets us see beyond the nano level into the femtogram or uh, meter level, and we might find out it wasn't bacteria. It was something that was affecting the bacteria that was affecting this. Okay. But again, I'm applying that same type of reasoning to every situation and to every problem. You, you just said you apply that same kind of keyword reasoning. Yeah. But if you're you have invalid reasoning, everything you just said is meaningless. I don't think you can prove to me it's invalid reasoning. Well, you can't prove to me you have valid reasoning. I agree. So that's the problem. You're at a university. You don't even know if you have valid reasoning. But what's your... You what's see the inconsistency of your worldview? You assume every day you have valid reasoning. You I assume see, laws I see, of logic. You I assume... See how you can see it that way. No, I'm asking and you to be consistent in your worldview. You can't be consistent. I can be consistent. I, think I am. I'm I can account for truth. the same kind of logical steps. You can't account for The it. same kind of observation because you think it has to... You personally think it has to come from somewhere outside. I'm, I'm asking you the question. You're, you're, you're proving your inconsistency in your worldview. Let me give you another example. Let me give you another example. Here, let me ask you this. What's, look, look, what's your end goal? The Say end that. goal is for you to realize that you don't have a logical argument against God and that you just need to I submit and believe I on the Lord Jesus. I didn't say I have a logical argument against God. Okay. Well, that's and good. I well, didn't say I don't I'm not saying you did. God. I'm just saying I'm, I'm, I I'm proclaiming that. I can't prove God, nor nobody. can I disprove God. Is that absolutely true? I think so. You don't yes. know it. That's, and that's the point. So you well, make truth claims that you can't account for. Right. And that's why I said I can neither prove nor disprove. Right. But even that is a knowledge. If I knew, that's a knowledge claim. Okay. You just make, is it absolutely true you can't prove or disprove? I don't think you can. Either. So you can prove it? No. No. Are you, are you telling me objectively no? Sure. <laughs> so you believe absolute truth. That's not right. right. You're being inconsistent with, with your worldview. And that's what I'm trying to show you. Your, your worldview is failing the, the, the AIP test. It's arbitrariness, inconsistencies, and a lack of preconditions for intelligence. You don't have any of the three. And so I'm telling you, there is no logical argument against God. I know you're not making that argument. But I'm telling you, this is why you need to trust in Jesus Christ. Because he can not only save you from your sin, but he'll save I, you from your reasoning okay. now. If I trust in Jesus Christ, what do I do if someone else who believes in Jesus Christ tells me, yada, 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 this is true, but applying logic and reasoning, I don't get to that truth. I don't understand um, okay, because okay. you're you're uh, are you you subjecting your reasoning on the basis of you being the authority, or are you Can subjecting we, your reasoning on you God being I'll the authority? I'll pick an example. Okay. Okay. Let's say other people who believe in Jesus Christ tell me the Earth is six, seven thousand years old, something like that, right? Which nobody knows. Right. Okay, that's fine. But some people do. So here's the other problem: is there's a lot of people that say they believe in Jesus, right? So. What if my internalized view or belief in Jesus leads me to believe a completely different thing than another person who has an internalized view or belief in Jesus? What if the Pope tells me one thing, but I believe a completely different thing? I'm not saying you or can't have wrong beliefs. Tells me. I'm not saying okay. you can't have wrong beliefs. There's just Catholic stuff. There's Mormons out so there. What if I, so what if, I, what if I read the Bible even, and that tells me this, and that completely contradicts what logic and reasoning is? Well, here's the problem with that, because God is the necessary precondition for logic, for reasoning, for truth, for science. So if God's in all of us. If he's the precondition, then you need to appeal to him to be right. If you don't want to appeal to him, you'll be wrong believing you're right. But then, nothing not, not in the Bible that says people me, can't hold the truth in a righteousness. Did he make me, and then is my knowledge already he doesn't coming make anybody. from God, he doesn't God make didn't make people? No, I didn't say he, did, he doesn't make people believe things. Not believe things, but if he did build me already with but certain you have a framework of reasoning story. that you can use as a sure. free moral agent but there's a framework there we appeal to logic and reasoning and, and, and truths that we build every day generically sure well, nothing not, not wrong, not wrong with that but that that the justification for those things is what I'm talking about but it wouldn't the justification just also be observation I mean no it wouldn't you go to, be if you go to plug uh, your toaster into the outlet and you've done it a thousand times before, and you you know that electricity comes from the outlet, or you think it does, and you know that when the toaster is plugged in, it works, and when the toaster isn't plugged in, it doesn't work. 
Isn't that based on a repetitive theme of logic that this is something you've been doing since you're six years old? The problem of David Hume in Dutch. He couldn't solve it. That's the very problem you're asking right now. I want to know on what basis did you know that toaster is going to do what it does over and over again? What basis do you, do you uh, an absolute plumb line instead of the truth to say that the past will be like the present, the present will be like the future? Based I want on to know. a thousand previous observations. So you see the circular reasoning there? But it's not circular just that. reasoning. So if I so know how that you come from electricity, well, and then when it doesn't work, if I can investigate the problem further and I found, oh, the fuse box is blowing. Electricity isn't getting to the poster. So you agree blind faith. That supports it, but it's not blind faith. It's blind faith. Based on a continued observation hundreds, potentially thousands of times. You have to pull your reasoning, but I'm sure. But you justify your reasoning with your reasoning, so you're in, you're in a circular plane on that one. No, because and then when you're dealing with else induction, supports okay, it. Okay. If my belief is that electricity has to get to the toaster and it doesn't work, and I can actually trace that and yet yeah, this time the fuse box is blowing. This time the plugs came out of the toaster. This time the wires were cut. Every single one of those reasons that the toaster didn't work supports my belief, or not belief structure, but my logical reasoning structure that electricity has to go to the toaster. It has to go to the heating element in the toaster. But you can't know it. Only in the way that it's small, complete, it's large. Because, because we can never distribute it. Now, for your argument to potentially work, so I have to go and see the fuse is working. The, all the fuses inside the toaster are fine. It's still plugged in. Electricity's getting to the outlet. None of the wires are cut. The heating element is fine. It's working. I have absolutely no explanation with all I know about the framework of electricity and conductivity and heating elements and physics, and none of these explanations will tell me why this toaster isn't working. Okay, you concede that it's not impossible for the Christian God to reveal things to me such a way I can know that for certain. Sure, so I have a validation right. for science. I have a validation for the laws of uniformity of nature. I have a validation for, for, for the problem that David Hume had with induction, with the toaster. I can validate those things. I'm, I'm saying on the basis of absolute standard of truth, the truth conforms to the mind of God. You can. That, so, I can say those things objectively, but you can. So let's say that God reveals to you that the reason the toaster works are tiny, magic, invisible aliens. What do I do with that? I didn't say that I don't have uh, ways to use empiricism. God is the establishment of empiricism. So you want to use empiricism, you want to use evidences and proofs. How do you validate evidences and proofs? I just said it right here. Evidence presupposes what? Knowledge. Okay. You have no knowledge, you couldn't know what evidence is. You gotta have knowledge first to be able to interpret the evidence. So you don't need any knowledge? So no, I could be a brain that. in a vat no, and, no. and say, well, that is proof. But right I can there. have a framework of knowledge. That that's that's not that's knowledge right there. That's what I'm talking about. Apply that to new things. That that's I've what never I'm talking about. Before. Now knowledge presupposes so truth. You didn't answer my question. So in your world, how out science to work? I could use empiricism, laws of induction. I could use the uh, deduct, deductive reasoning. I can use God's given all those things to me. I can use those things. See, the problem is you're trying to divide the scientific method from God. That's what you're trying to do, and it doesn't work because you can't validate this method. You can't validate the scientific method. Without you but you, how, do you, how do you know it's not going to apply? How do you know it's going to apply tomorrow? Based on what? Blind faith. No, not blind faith. Circular reason. Not circular reason. It's multiple evidences. What are the evidences of I induction? I can't prove to you, again, Well, I prove induction by induction. That's can, what you're telling me. Circular can, reason. I can utilize... What? Your reasoning to justify your reasoning? Multiple people's reasoning. And I'm only saying. Use your reasoning. Hold on, hold on. I'm only saying. The only reason I would say gravity might not work tomorrow is because of my understanding of things. I got to laugh at that. You can't be at a university saying that. I'm why? sorry. That's bad. I can't prove that's it. That's even a university. Why is it, just, why is it Stabber, untrue? You're at a university saying that you don't know if gravity's going to apply no, tomorrow. I do, but I can't <laughs> prove it. You got to admit that's fine. No, I have to be able to prove it 100% of the time. I can't prove it. It's small future just for So you large believe gravity is consistent by faith? I can, I can just No, I can disprove it. How? I can disprove it. Because once it happens... But so you can't disprove anything if you don't have a standard of a line of truth. You can't disprove anything. Because to disprove something, you have to say, well, there's a standard of truth of something being proven. Yeah. There's a standard of something being disproven, which means there's an absolute standard of proof, which means there's an absolute standard of truth. But you denied that. I didn't deny that. You stated I denied that. Okay, so you believe in absolute truth. I think that every single person... There you go. See, and because the world again, is caving in, and you don't even see it right before your eyes. 
a gift because I'm, I can find at least one person that will tell you that concrete is a car. Do, do, you, do you not want to, you see a cry for help here, to say, I my worldview does not hold up to truth, my, to, to standards of logic and reasoning? Because you need 100% perfect truth. And I'm okay with there not necessarily being 100% but is, are, is it, are you 100% absolutely sure that you don't need 100% truth? Not sure about him. There you go. So you just, your worldview comes caving in on it, but I also, you're inconsistent. But shouldn't, I, shouldn't I feel a yawning chasm in my life? Shouldn't I feel some There is. Hole? You don't see the cry for help right now. You, yeah, exactly. The Bible says that the people hold the truth and the righteousness because they love their sin. So they, even though they have the emptiness within them, they won't uh, and admit they have that hole because they love their sin. You're fulfilled with the sin you love. I don't know what sins you commit. I'm not a Catholic right. priest and all that. I don't know what sins you commit. Well, whatever it is, it's holding me back from trusting Jesus. And I'm trying to reach you because I care about you. I'm what trying to reach you. Is, is, what is, yeah. I don't need to study every religion in the world to know there isn't one right. Okay. right. True. Okay. What, now, if my, what if my right religion is two what plus my, two four? What if my right religion is agnostic? It's two plus two four. I think so. I think so. You no. You could be wrong. Maybe. 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 I can ask a four-year-old that. They know it. Sure, they know so it. So you don't know it? Don't two plus two is four. It should be. I, I, I can't be here at a university. Why do I know there is some you alternate know. dimension, some other world, some new mathematical proof that I Come haven't on, man. seen? University. Uh, mathematics. Uh, uh, sure. Biology. Sure. Uh, trigonometry. Uh, sure. If you're telling me you don't know two plus two is four, how are you going to do all those, those things in basic you're math? You're stating no. Can I do I think it is? Can I do it over and over and over again? The, Can I do it over and over and over again and get four? What time is it? Um, you know what time it is, Scotty? Uh, it's like 12 something. 12 it's something. You got a little bit of time? I got I, I'm enjoying our conversation, so, uh, man. 1241. Do you want me I to like your reason. I like your reason. I can't state. No one can state. Here's the problem. People will tell you that everything is proven or disproven. They will tell you that the theory of I knew it was coming. I was like, oh man. Support that theory. That doesn't mean something might not change 50 years from now. Some new piece of evidence or data might not come out 100 years ago. Okay. So yeah, the vast majority of people will tell you, yes, this is true. I'm going to tell you. Do I subscribe to that evidence right now? Yes. Is that how I think it goes? Yes. You want me to state unequivocally, is that true? Is that true now? Is that true potentially in a different dimension? Is that true 500 years from now? No, I'm not going to state that. That's an absolute truth every single time, all the time. Is giving up on knowledge? I don't think that's giving up on knowledge. Giving up on knowledge. Because giving up on reality. Okay, oh, okay. Giving up on real. I could, what if I'm halfway through a book and you ask okay, me, I'm gonna how do I think the book ends? This is how the book ends. I think the book ends. Know the, and I get to it. the end of the book and it turns out it was this. You see the problem in your worldview? You can't know it. That's the problem in your worldview. Are we like, well, well, yet every day you know it. I just yeah. think the one's by the front. You for everything you know. You can't account for it. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. If it gets very sweet. Let me hit this. Maybe you'll understand. cars hit other cars. So I'm very confident that if I hit a car with my car, the metal and the plastic will crumble. I'll probably get injured. It'll be a bad day for me. It's probably a bad day for the person in the other car. Okay, that's your continued option. Okay, let me ask you this, because you're making a lot of truth claims right now. You're being more absolute in your truth claim. Okay? So, I want to ask you this. Revelation from God is necessary for love. Okay? Here's my friend. Here's my friend. Revelation from God is necessary for love. Without all knowledge, something you don't know to contradict something you do know. It is possible. But you do know that. Then I have but you do know that. Well, then I have to it. Then I have to apply my logic and my reason to that thing. Now, let's, let's talk about the infinite region. How do you know A? A because of B. How do you know B because of C? And it doesn't stop at Z. It goes infinite. Because you have to know everything to make a, a certain knowledge claim. To say, I know this. Well, right? Or you have to think you know or, 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 have a revelation from someone who does know everything. That's the Christian worldview. How do you prove this stuff? That's revelation? the Christian worldview. Because God who knows everything has revealed things to me in such a way I can know them for certain. So I, the Christian other? worldview conquers the infinite regress. Yeah. See, I don't have to is know everything to know that, something. Is it possible, though, that the way he revealed it to you is by seeing it happen? Well, I use my faculties every day. I can use induction. I can use empiricism. These are the faculties that God has given me to use every so day. So, your premise, it doesn't matter if I 
subscribe to that or not. You just have no justification. God has already you know, you can't know anything. That's so, the problem. But it doesn't matter then if I do or don't It does matter. Because in the universe you can't know anything. He's already revealing it. Oh, he reveals it to everybody. So what does it matter if I believe? Because you have no justification for truth. You can't make any knowledge claim to me about anything, and that's a problem. Because you're going to make truth claims every day. And what I'm showing you right now is the proof that God exists through a logical proof. And the logical proof is your whole worldview is inconsistent, it's arbitrary, and it's a, has a lack of precondition for intelligibility. Everything that comes out of your mouth is arbitrary. You can't make a single knowledge claim that you don't and say that I know that. I don't think my Is it absolutely true it's not arbitrary? According to me, that's well, what it I'm is arbitrary. Because you have no basis for argument, because you have no plumb line to truth. Okay. It seems that's the problem. I and see, can, you see the problem. I and can you, you don't, you still don't want to. You can't argue gravity to people if you can't know anything. Okay. You have no basis for knowledge. You've given up on your epistemology. All right. Do you see the problem there? No. You're at a university giving up on knowledge, truth, I don't think reality. I've given up knowledge or truth. Okay, justify knowledge. You, you have to know everything to know something, correct? No. Do you know all things? You don't need to know everything to know a single thing. Is that absolutely true? Because remember, you've given up on truth. I believe it is. Well, see, it's, it, it boils down to arbitrariness. Sure. Every single person's see, that's, perception. That's my point. Every single person's perception boils down to arbitrariness. Is that absolutely true? How come I can take 5,000 Christians and they'll all have slight... You couldn't. Least, because you don't know what 5,000 Christians least, look like. You don't know what truth is. Did, did you see the inconsistency? I'm just showing you. I'm showing you the foolishness of your claim that you can't appeal to a standard. Then of truth. why doesn't every single per Christian believe exactly the same okay. thing about Let me answer every your question. single worldview, every single interaction with every single human? Because every single person has volition and free will to do what they want. Not all Christians are correct. The Christians are human beings too. They sin. They do wrong things too. So, so sometimes God you can be incorrect. Absolutely. How do I know you're not incorrect right now? And, and again, if I have a validation for my reasoning and you don't, you have no basis to ask that but question. But then you, that's not, I can ask any question I want. You can ask it, but you can't know anything. Why can't you respond? You can't know anything. If, I mean, if I can't all respond. your knowledge is you coming from God, then you should never be wrong. I didn't say all my knowledge comes from God. I said I have a validation and justification for the knowledge that we have on earth. But sometimes you're wrong. So I didn't say I didn't say everything that God gives me is complete revelation from God that I know all things. I didn't say that. You I just said, said to I said know there one are, thing, you have to know all things. Listen to me. Just listen carefully. God reveals some things to me that I can know things. That, that's my premise. Okay. God reveals things, not all things. I didn't say okay. all things. God reveals things to me in such a way I can know that certain. Some of those things are truth. The, the validation for truth. Not all truth. I don't know everything. So. Well, out of us two, I'm the only one that can know it. You think that? No, it doesn't and matter what it no doesn't matter what you say. You can't know anything. You say you can't even know you're thinking right now. Sure, I you, can't, so you agree. Can't prove it. You agree. Your epistemology is shot. It's gone. It's not shot. You have no epistemology. You're at a university. You've given up on your epistemology. I haven't given up on it. I just embrace the fact that more things are possible. Is it absolutely true you haven't given up on it? Yeah. So you just yet contradict yourself again okay. about absolute truth. Okay. I'm just showing you inconsistency in your worldview. Inco it's arbitrariness, it's inconsistency, down. and lack of preconditions for intelligibility. Now, according to truth, where do you get truth from? You said it's arbitrary. It is. It's arbitrary. You can both say this is morally right or this is morally wrong. Is it absolutely true that we both can say that? Again, your, 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 your worldview on truth is inconsistent. All right. And I'm just showing you that contradictions are okay in your worldview. Because yes. you're proving that right now. And yet you have no basis to argue with my worldview at all. Okay. So what I'm telling you, since you have no basis to argue, you have no epistemology, you can't account well, for truth, basis. you can't account for reality. Because I'm asking you for some kind of proof. Well, you can't prove something to, that, to somebody that can't know anything. Did, did you see that? You see no. the problem there? No. I can't prove something to somebody that can't validate truth because debates presuppose truth, correct? I could prove it to any logical, reasonable person. I could prove that concrete. But you possible. can't know that. You agree okay. you can't know it. I have every single person according, in the world. according to what we just went through, you you okay. got to admit to be consistent with what you're saying. You can't know anything to be true, and yet you're you know you're going to make truth claims out of your mouth. Like right now, you're thinking of words to say, and you're going to peel on that to a standard of truth. How do you know the words you speak or that, that you said five minutes ago are going to mean the same thing five minutes from now? On what basis? You don't. So that's the problem. You're at a university saying I'm you can't know anything. Sure, they probably will. But when you, when you deal with something on a, on a, on a basis of 100%, yeah, yeah. 
you have to know what 100% is to say something is 99%. So you have to know what absolute certainty is to even say that. So yeah. you get contradict yourself again. No. And that's my point. You keep contradicting yourself. And I'm saying, I don't think it's you don't see the inconsistency in your worldview. And I I'm can saying, know what absolute means. Instead of trying I still not say that I am absolute. I can, I can know what 100% pure ethanol is. Is that absolutely is. true? 100%? You want me to state, are the rules of everything always consistent, not knowing what tomorrow will be? And yet you made another truth claim, and I'm supposed to respond to it, and, and, and I'm supposed to assume that you can respond to me and understand okay. what I'm saying, but we'll, you have no basis we'll for knowledge by, and truth. We'll just go by what most people will say then. Yes. All the things I'm claiming, if this is 100% pure, then what 100% pure means today will mean the exact same thing tomorrow. So you're affirming absolute truth? Sure. Now, if you're affirming that, I'm asking you, what is your validation for absolute truth? Logic and reasoning and observation. Now, when you're dealing with logic and reasoning, how do you validate your logic and reasoning? Do you do it with your logic and reasoning? Uh, not only mine, but billions of other But people. billions of others, and you have to incorporate through your reasoning. Sure. So you're only using your reasoning to determine whether you're coming logically and valid. So you're justifying your reason with your reasoning. So even though you acknowledge absolute truth, you still have no validation for it. That's I disagree. You, you can disagree, but even disagreements are based upon a standard of truth that you can't account for. So you can't even disagree with me. I don't think that's true. I, See, I and think again, thinking involves somebody that's actually per perceiving something in their brain. And that's based on an absolute standard of truth when you think. So you can't even say, I don't think I'm doing that. There's absolute standards of truth within people personally. Is that absolutely true? Yes. Get a count for it, so it's meaningless. All right. And see, and you don't live your life that you're way. You're just see, you see, and, and, and I know I, I, I take your chuckle and your laughing. Straw, you're as, just creating straw man arguments. It's here. not. It's. It, I want you to show me the straw man argument I'm making right now because I'm trying to I'm trying to appeal to rationality to you, and you're not appealing to me. Like that. I am. I, if you're appealing to rationality, you're appealing to God. Are you appealing I, to God? You think that that's no? So you're not going to do let's it. go. Let's ask a billion people. Let's look up the definition of rationality. I can ask a it billion will people, not but say, you can't. The definition of rationality will not be an appeal to God. That is your personal. It's a justification. Definition. I'm asking you to justify it. You, you you're stated not only it. You circular. stated it. You okay. stated it as though the definition of rational is an appeal to God. Okay. And that is your personal definition. And I'm going to okay. tell you that that is not my definition. Your so definition is circular reasoning. Say, uh, see again. It is. It's enjoyable to put words in people's mouths. Well, give me your okay. Give me your validation then. I told you observation. That you gotta use your reasoning when doing that. You're not yeah. being logical about that. One could say, how it's is irrational. That you're, right. you're not looking at the slippery slope. Right. When you observe go. things, do you have to incorporate your reasoning when yeah. looking at what you're observing? Well, you don't have to incorporate. And I'm reasoning. asking you to. A lot of people make observations without incorporating reasoning. Okay. Now, did you reason that out? Sure. Do they have to reason out? They don't want to use their reasoning. So you're still stuck uh, I in I don't think that's true. Yeah? No, you just tune out. It's not a reason, a d desire, or thought process to not utilize your reasoning. I want to know how you get out of the wheel, dude. All right. Well, you're based on the terms we're using. You're not, you're not you're circular on one, on one plane. You're circular on every plane of knowledge. Okay. You're circular on your on your induction. I say, how do you prove induction? You say, with induction. I say, how do you, how do you prove your memories? With my memories. I say, how do you prove truth? Well, it's... it's 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 arbitrary. It's meaningless. How do you so, prove? No, do you see, you, you give it up on all those. How things. do you prove memories? God, you conceded that it's not impossible for the Christian God to reveal things to me in such so, a way I can know the pressure. Now prove it to me. Prove to me your memories come from. Can't that. prove something to somebody that can't know anything. That's my yeah. answer for you. It seems very convenient. But but it's consistent with yeah. your worldview. I'm not being contrary to your worldview. I bet I can prove to many people. You keep stepping in my worldview, trying to make truth claims. And you can't account for those truth claims because every time I call you out on your truth claim, you got to say, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> do, do you disagree? Prove me wrong. You disagree. I'm okay with not knowing. You're okay with Is that absolutely true? For me personally, yes. Okay, so you're at a university. You're okay with not knowing. So whatever field you're studying, you can't know it. I have continued observation. Please don't. And I'm not trying to be mean. Please don't get in a medical field. Okay. Because I wouldn't want anybody taking care of me that really believes they can't know anything. I want somebody that, that actually knows. That doesn't mean I'm not going to apply that knowledge. I want them to know their job. Okay. And you see how impractical your worldview is. Okay. It doesn't comport to reality. I think your idea you're in a, you're of You're in a fairy no, tale worldview, dude. I think your idea of no and my idea of no. Mine's rational. I've, I've no, proven I think, rationality. I think what you're hearing when I say I don't know <laughs> is that I... said you don't know. 
so guess what I'm hearing? You don't know. There's you no may tricks. not notice that you're very antagonistic, <laughs> but you are. And I'm this is why a lot of people, hominem, and yeah, this is why a lot of people hominem, don't want to engage. Right. Ad hominem. When and I truth say, truth doesn't matter. You just got to be nice, and niceness overcomes. I don't truth. care about nice, but did you want? Well, you don't care about truth, obviously. Do you want to have a debate? Do you want to convince me, or do you just want to make yourself feel good inside? I'm just saying debates presuppose knowledge. I'm just asking to be consistent with your worldview, and I understand. I, I'm not trying to be. Mean. But I was about to explain part of part of I think the disconnect between us. And you don't even want me to explain okay, I'm that. I'm you. Go ahead. I've been quiet right now. Like you were quiet for the last minute. Well, we're having a dialogue. I mean, certainly, i got to be able to come back and answer you. You're not even answering me because I haven't even spoken. You're just laughing at the me. The last five minutes, I've been answering you. Our definitions of knowing are different. Do I believe, yeah, concrete is hard? Yes. Do I think if I walk into that bench and smash my head into it, that it's probably going to go very, very, very badly for me? Yes, I'm 99.99999999% certain. What I'm doing is saying, can I know everything, small Petri dish versus large Petri dish? Do I know it's going to work that way every time? Do I know it's going to work that way tomorrow? Do I know some other thing might not happen that might affect it? Do I know that it, with 100% certainty that it's going to be that way on Pluto or Mars or in a different galaxy? I'm telling you no because I haven't been there and I haven't observed things there. You just made all these certain knowledge claims. But do I do I actually hold the same belief most people? Sure. If I was a doctor, am I gonna think, oh sure, I can put the scalpel in this guy's heart and there's a point zero 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 one percent chance that that won't be harmful. Obviously I'm not gonna go around cutting people's hearts open, smashing my head into concrete, trying to drive my car through a wall. My belief, my idea of knowledge is pretty much the same as everyone else's. But you're describing knowledge as belief. I'm describing knowing Not or true justified belief. Okay. That's what I've defined I, I get But you're definition. defining knowledge as belief. And Not I, belief. And knowledge doesn't mean belief. Continued observation. Knowledge doesn't mean belief. Okay. Because when you say I continually observe, you yes, believe I, what you're observing. I misspoke that what I meant was belief. continued observation. But if you I continually don't, observe something, you're believing that you're observing something. I don't have a complete faith-based belief that my poster will work. I have a belief based on continued observation. So I'm asking you, can you know anything to be true? I don't know. And I'm okay with that. You're not okay with it. No, I am. You're not. You're not okay with me being okay with no, it. No, I'm just and saying. you're also you're not, not okay, okay with it. it. But, okay. I know you, you're you not think, okay with okay, it because you're okay. inconsistent in your worldview. Because ration, because you're showing earlier, you told me rationality matters. But now you're saying rationality doesn't matter. That's inconsistent, but that's okay. It's inconsistent. It's okay to be inconsistent. I'm not going to convince you, and I'm okay. With I'm not. I'm not trying to be convinced. I'm trying to get you to be convinced about your inconsistent and worldview. And I'm not convinced. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. That's well, what I'm saying. asking. Does truth matter? Is it real sure? Absolutely yes or absolutely no. Why does everything have truth? And there you go, made an absolute claim right there. Why does everything, is it absolutely true that you asked, why does everything have to be absolute? Sure, I just asked it. There you go. See, but you can't know. That's, I'm asking to be consistent in your worldview. And anywhere you go, you're going to ask it to be logical and reasonable and rational. Mm -hmm. But yet when you deal with a Christian, you don't want to have it. I think I have that just fine. You have that just fine? Mm -hmm. Valley truth. I'm good. I'm going to go. No. I got things I got to do. Okay, trust in Jesus Christ for it's too late. He'll save you from your sins and he'll save you from your reasoning now. All right, I thought about it. Right. Have a good day. <laughs>